Hey there, lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here, and today I have got a Firewall Ultra video. I've been looking forward to having a new Firewall Ultra topic to discuss. And as you can see, I've got a plane in the background behind me. This one came from a PlayStation official trailer. They're using it to promote the PSVR 2. It is a brief seven or eight seconds of the trailer, and they're just showing off the eye tracking functionality. But it has kind of blown open the doors a little bit of what eye tracking can do in Firewall Ultra. So we've seen eye tracking being used in Firewall Ultra before. It was used to select weapons from a weapon wheel. We've seen that, that was like one of the first gameplay snippets we've seen of Firewall Ultra. This time, we're seeing what I would argue is a much more impactful or a much more meaningful maybe in terms of it is more tangible to the actual gameplay itself. I think basically the character who I assume is Okoro is aiming a grenade, an impact grenade, and they're doing it with their eyeballs. You can see the eye graphic on the left, you can see how the arc, so the arc is returning from Firewall Ultra. And you can see it moving around as he's got, he's on a firing range. There's three targets at different ranges and distances and like spacings. And you can see that the eyes, as they're moving around, it's flicking to different targets. And then I'm assuming a button is released and the action of throwing the grenade is automatically carried out. Uh, there is some room for debate on this as whether, you know, it could be a physical action performed by the player doing that. Uh, but I've got the feeling that it is more similar to what it is in Firewall Zero Hour. Now, I've already seen some people being a bit disappointed by that. A lot of people kind of want, same with manual reloading. They want as much manual interactions with the game as possible. And that's understandable. I mean, you're paying a bunch of money for this VR headset. You've got these two fancy motion controllers. You want to be able to do as much as you can with them. But there is a few things to keep in mind here. One, this advertisement, and that's what it is, it's an advertising is focusing on eye tracking it wants to show off eye tracking so just because in this clip they're aiming with the eyes in the gameplay segment doesn't mean that in the game itself this is not just like an option you know and it could be for some people that aiming with their eyes is like for whatever reason maybe they got conditions or something is too difficult so they want to use a stick instead or if they want to throw manually instead or something like that so there could be other options we don't know enough about firewall ultra to say for certainty that this is the only way to do it the other thing to keep in mind is that this opens the door for us to use third party or even first party if Sony get around to us gun stocks that we can clip the sense controllers into because you don't need to throw with your hand separately if you're just aiming pulling the button to aim and then using your eyes to do that you can have the two controllers fitted into a stationary you know stock basically a replica of the aim or more appropriately a sharpshooter which is what the ps3 had it would be more in line with that than it would be with an aim controller so those people who were like you know really upset that the aim is well not really upset but you know disappointed that the aim controller is absent for firewall ultra maybe this is a good sign for those people maybe people like me i don't know obviously i haven't played this game with two controllers yet so i don't know how that feels maybe i'll want to immediately go back to the aim and not like it i don't know but the fact that this is an option I think bodes well for that. Again, there's still a lot of questions when it comes to everything about Firewall Ultra, so I don't want to say anything definitive or pass any definitive judgment. I mean, if you have worries and concerns, I completely understand you expressing those or whatever, but until we know more or until we're trying it for ourselves, personally, I'm not going to, you know, come down one way or the other just yet. And of course, we got to keep in mind Pavlov is still coming in the launch window of PSVR 2. So we're really going to have an idea of like, that game is fully manual everything, manual reloads, manual grenade throws. We're going to see if these are something that we really like, and that'll give me a bit, well for me anyway, I can only speak to myself, that's going to give me a much better idea of, do I want to throw a grenade manually, and then the throw was off for some reason, hits a wall, gets stuck in something, doesn't go where I thought it would, because it might be a bit trickier than it is with, you know, pressing buttons and using your eyes. Or it could be that, you know, it's really cool in Pablo VR and I love it so much that I start harassing, well not harassing, obviously, respectfully requesting, that's what we do, to First Contact Entertainment, hey, consider adding this in. But look, overall, I think it's like the technology itself is cool. Will it be a gimmick? Will it be something that'll be useful? I mean, I can imagine you're going to be snapping to targets 
much faster than you would be if you're using a stick or even if you're moving your aim controller like in firewall zero hour your eyes are going to move a lot faster than your stick and your thumb is you know so there's an advantage there now the difference with this one is that you have to equip the grenade separately it seems based on the previous video we've seen so maybe there's a slowdown there and what i've been thinking about that slowdown the way that you have to equip a grenade separately I wonder if that's to combat the impact grenade spammers who, you know, they toss two grenades straight away, shoot you with a bullet and you're done straight away. So could be an attempt by First Contact Entertainment to, you know, nerf that strategy, which has become or had become so prevalent in Firewall Zero Hour for so long. If we move past the eye tracking part for a moment here, the other interesting thing of this short clip is the actual environment itself. It does appear to be a shooting range. Now in Firewall Zero Hour, and you'd have to go all the way back in your memory, the very first time you play is they take you through a very short tutorial kind of area that you never really experience again unless you like restart the game or something. I think there was target shooting and stuff like that there that teach you how to throw grenades and whatnot. So it could be that this is part of that tutorial-y kind of area in the game. However, it is possible that in Firewall Ultra there will be like a testing range where you can bring whatever guns you want, whatever loadout you want, and just test out your weapons as you see fit. I think that would be really cool. Somebody suggested in the comments of the last video I put up that, you know, what if this was in the lobby? What if you were matchmaking and while you're waiting for a match, you can just wander over to the shooting range, maybe with some friends beside you that you've already teamed up with, and you can start practicing on the uh, targets. That'd be something that would definitely help pass the time while you're waiting for matchmaking. If you're interested in Firewall Ultra and PS Viewer 2 in general, then consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and all that usual YouTube and shite. That is it for this video. Let me give a thank you to Decepticon for letting me use his music in all of my videos. You can check him out in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay moist. Ultra moist.